All right, what's up, everybody? Looks like we are live once again. We live. Welcome back to another Blake Bradsall's live stream. Yay! Oh, man, it's been a few days since we played this game. Um, not much has been happening in the game, to be honest with you, but uh, we're here today to just hang out, do co-op, talk about whatever little news there is. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I wanted to summon on that banner right there. A little bit. Just, like, two steps. Because I want this Rukia. Uh, but I don't want to, like, go down to zero because um, mid-month is coming up and we don't know what it is. So I'll just do, like, the first two multis. And then what I'll do is I'll wait till mid-month, see what it is. And if it's whack, then I'll go back in for, uh, for Rukia. So that's the plan. Because the banner goes, this banner right here is out until March 13th. So that's a long ass time. Time enough for us to see what mid month is and then uh, make a decision from that point. All right, that's the plan. Anyway, uh, thank you, uh, thank you people for showing up. What's up, guys? Welcome back to BBS. <sighs> Who's here tonight? I see the usual squads here. Uh, we got Madao, Paul Leonard. Shanghai's here, uh, um, uh, Guardian, did I already say that? No, I didn't. Zaitan's here, Rick, what's going on? Uh, you got five of five new Eba. <laughs> five of five new Eba. For what? And why did you summon on that banner? Oh, man, you messed up. Uh, uh, Lillian's here, what's going on? Flair, Curtis Brown, Jimmy Chung, uh, Fallout's here, Elkira. Hey, Kurosaki, uh, a member for 47 months. Oh, my God, thank you, man. No gift subs for the main channel. I don't know how to turn it on, man. I looked, like, when you told me about that, like, uh, a couple of weeks ago. I couldn't find the settings for it. And I Googled it, too. And, I, I, like, the Google had, like, instructions from, like, outdated instructions. Like, I don't know. I'll try again. Maybe I'll try again some other time. But I don't know how to do it. So. Uh, until I figure it out. No gift subs on this channel. <laughs> uh... Yeah, if you could find the, the instructions for me, like, that'd be, that'd be helpful. But, um, I, you're not gonna. They, like, bury this, these settings in, like, all these, like, different... It's, it, YouTube, the YouTube creator interfa interface is straight-up garbage, all right? I'm sure everybody will agree on this. Uh, Stellar Cohen, what's up? Shouts out to my sponsor squad. Uh, he Cham. All right. Everybody's here. What's going on, guys? Let's get started. What's up, George? Start the start. Yeah, I should make YouTube tutorial videos. But the thing is, they change their interfaces so often that, like, if you made a tutorial video on how to, like, use the Creator Studio, it would be outdated, like, literally a month later. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Um, okay. Guys, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, yeah. Let's start by summoning for Rukia. We got to at least put in two multis. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't log in today. There we go. Five orbs. Oh, my God. It's weird not having the passport. If you didn't know, guys, I canceled my passports temporarily because I don't really need them. I don't really use, make use of them. But it is definitely noticeable not having the passport. Like, you don't have as many tickets. Um, you can only do that transcendence quest two times a day instead of four. You don't get the daily orbs, like the daily two orbs. You don't get the daily... Um, uh, passport summoning tickets. It's it's like noticeable when you don't have it. Not gonna lie. All right. Anyway, um, you don't know you don't know what you got when, when, till it's gone. Basically, <laughs> yeah. And you don't get the bonus. Uh, you don't get the bonus. Um, run for when you do a five ticket run. So grinding the point out event point event out is like noticeably slower than when you have the passport. Like, when you have the passport, you can grind the point of an out in, like, a day. Less than a day, in, like, a few hours. Less than a few hours. Like, in two cycles of tickets, you can grind out the point of it. Because with the passport, doing a 10-ticket run is like doing a 12-ticket run. You know what I'm saying? And over time, that adds up to, uh, to like, a lot more efficient grinding. Yeah. Yeah, I stopped, uh, I stopped subscribing to the Passport because I wasn't playing enough to, like, justify it. Guys, basically, I do my dailies every day, and then I freaking, then I dip. That's all I've been doing. Um, all right. 
I still love the game, but I just don't play it like I used to, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, well, uh, stop distracting me. Okay, we're gonna do our whatever tickets we got first. I gotta turn up the audio. The audio is all like, there we go. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, oh, Kang Do is still out, by the way. If you people are still trying to get him, it's still out. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be out for um, till the fifteenth, and uh, there is an individual Kang Do banner as well. So plenty of opportunities to get him if you haven't got him yet. So don't worry about it. All right, here we go. Uh, let's start with BBS tickets, I guess. Let's see how that goes. Mm. Ugh. And then we'll do one or two multis on Ru uh, Rukia. I would do more, but the problem is, guys, with that banner, is that Ikaku is is also in that banner. And I don't care about Ikaku, Parasol Ikaku. I'm, like, trying not to get, to get that character again, so... It's like a double-edged sword, that banner. You know? It's got one of my favorite characters. 2050! Who is that? Is that a Bleach character? Wait, hold up, hold up. Am I playing Bleach Brave Souls right now? Uh, guys, are we in the right game? Uh, is, is, this, uh, is this like some kind of Naruto game or something? Who the hell is that? The funny thing is, about this is I just um, leveled him to 5 of 5 in the Transcendence quest. <laughs> yeah. I have him 5 of 5. He's some rando. Actually, he's technically he's canon. Technically, Ashido, Ashido is canon. Because there was a manga side story with Ashido in it. So, technically he's canon. But, like, not really. Because it wasn't part of the main story, even though it was in the manga. Hmm. Yeah, they'll add anybody in this game, for real, dude. <laughs> they add these rando background characters to this game and call it, like, a banner. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, all right, one more of these. Uh, Jimmy, from now on, you'll always save for mid month after what happened last month. Yeah, last no, you don't. <laughs> Are you talking about the Akaku, Shuhei, and Iba banner? No, you don't gotta save for that, dude. Yeah, that you guys remember that banner? Oh my god, that that shit was horrible. That literally might have been the worst banner ever in Bleach Brave Souls. But they redeemed themselves when they made Kang Do at end of the month. You know what I mean? So they did make that crappy mid-month banner, but they redeemed themselves by making the Kang Do, so it was fine. It balanced out, you know what I mean? Taz, who, who is this character? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. What did he ever do? Oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I... <sighs> he is a Noitorist Fraction. I know who he is. He's just like super irrelevant. He's not staying relevant. It's the old one too. I think. Is that the old one? Can you flex your Eba? Oh, God. Yeah, bring him if you want, I guess. I mean, I guess. I wouldn't call playing Eba flexing, though. All right, we got a five-star ticket here, guaranteed, guys. When are we getting playable Resurrection Tesla? I would not be surprised if they made him. If they made Resurrected Tesla, like, in a real banner. Oh, sixth anniversary eyes. Oh, do I have him five of five? Actually, let's find out. That's actually a good, that's actually a really good uh, um, pull right there. Um, I think he's not the best anymore, but he's still pretty good. All right. Mm. Hold on, let me see if I can merge. Any of these people. Actually, wait, sell hit sell her. Uh, then we will uh, 
see if we can merge Aizen. Aizen right here. Oh, no, I already have him, Max, max Trent. Oh, but I have two-star SP. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll re-roll him for sure. Maybe we can get three-star SP. I don't know. It's probably... Oh, you don't do it here. It's probably going to be three-star defense or something. Uh... All right, here we go, guys. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. I'm just gonna look at the chat and see what see what happened. All right, I'm not looking at the screen. You guys tell me what happened. Uh, I don't think that's three star SP. Damn it, that's even worse. <laughs> So we're sticking. Oh, we could do a a, a a tank build, a tank build with uh, three star stamina. Oh lord! All right, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, a tank build because he's got drain, right? So st stamina is actually not bad bad for him. You could do like a Hojikuzai, and then. I think because Hojikuzai affects his drain too. I'm pretty sure. All right, uh, what are we doing? Uh, what else do I got to merge? Green Tesla. Oh lord, I bet you I have him five of five. <laughs> you know what? We'll uh, we'll give we'll we'll uh, re-roll him just for the memes. Watch, this will be three-star SP. I guarantee it. Watch this be three-star SP. Oh, three-star stamina again? Oh, my God, really? Wow. All right, uh, I guess I'll take it. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, Ashido. Who? Ashi who? I know I got Ashido uh, 5 of 5. But uh, since we're uh, re-rolling everybody, I guess we'll do him too. Might as well. I believe Ashido is a normal attack character. It's actually pretty good. Uh, what is he? Oh, look at that soul trait, boys. <laughs> They have the, look at this soul trait. Attack 40. F attack 4 that's not 40%. That is 40 points, guys. Don't don't read that wrong. That is not 40%. That is 40 points of attack. God, that's horrible. Does he have flurry? Oh no, he's uh he's a frenzy carry. I didn't even know that. I did not even know that. All right, whatever. So he's a frenzy character, but his soul trait is attack plus 40. God, he's useless. Even back in the day, that character was terrible. Even back in the day when he first came out, he was still bad. All right. I think that's it for the uh, for the character's inventory management. All right, let's do this thing where I summon for Rukia. I'm only doing two multis because I'm kind of broke, guys. So... Here we go. Please, no Ikaku. Oh, I swear to God, if I get Ikaku, I'm quitting this game. I'm making the quitting BBS video. Okay, fine. Nothing. Nothing is better than another copy of Ikaku. Like, for real. Alright, this is the last one. And then, we'll wait for mid-month, and then I'll make a decision. Okay? But for now, we're only going two steps. Here we go. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, please not. Oh, oh God. Uh, I mean, I guess. Hey, that, that ass, though, boys. That ass. I guess that's okay. I mean, I already have her. Maybe it's a two-in-one, though. Maybe it's a two-in-one. You never know. It could be a two-in-one. 
Please. Parasol Rukia. Please! I need her! Damn it! <sighs> Alright, fine. Alright, guys, we tried. Um, at least we got the Paras um, swimsuit, swimsuit Isane. That's pretty good. No, I'm waiting to see what mid-month is. You guys aren't con aren't going to convince me. Before I do any more summoning on that banner, I need to see what mid-month is. Because mid-month, it might... What if it's BG9, dude? What if it's BG9 and Soyfon? It could happen. Alright. Road to 5 of 5 Asane. Oh. Do y'all think mid-month is, uh, who? Nikita Death... Yeah, what if it's Nikita Deathlock? <laughs> you know, what if it's, um, Machine Society Looters Freegan, you know? I can't take that chance. I can't risk being broke if it's Machine Society Looters Freegan, okay? It's, it's not, it's not worth it. All right, guys. Uh, we are done with summoning for today. Uh, let's, um... Is there any news to talk about? Mm, I don't think so. I think there's, uh... An update that they're gonna do, but it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, dude! Dude, measures to prevent fraudulent refunds. So, apparently, K-Lab is taking steps to, um... You know deal with people who are like like cheating them who are like scamming them um i don't know the details of it it probably doesn't apply to anybody in here so i'm not going to go over it but there's certain people who like they'll buy something and then they'll refund it on the google play store like right afterwards and they'll still get the spirit orbs so uh caleb's trying to try to stop that from happening um yeah so that's all that is Nothing to worry about if you don't do that, so. Um, also, uh, there's going to be a version update. Uh, nothing really worth talking about there. Just some bug fixes and stuff, whatever. And uh, there's going to be a Nightmare difficulty and Guild Quest is coming up. So, yeah, that's about it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, guys. Yeah, it's probably all the people in China trying to get refunds because they didn't get Kang Du. You know what I mean? <laughs> people didn't get Kang Du. Now they're trying to refund the spirit orbs they bought. I mean, I would too, I guess. All right. We will play Epic Raids first. Come through if you want to do some of these. It's Red Day. Red Day, so bring bonus. Um, new Tosh, bring new Tosh. Oh, actually, bring new Tosh if you got him. I don't have new Tosh. I'll bring uh, Ichigo. Because I have Ichigo 5 of 5. Mm. Oh my god. Kill a kill. You've been spamming that number all ga all night long. I I'll join you in after this one. Okay. Uh, Ichigo. Here he is. <sighs> the banner is out until the 13th. So the mid-month will be announced, like, before that. I'm pretty sure. And if it's not, then oh well. Because I'm not summoning any more in Rukia until I know what mid-month is. I just can't. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Load the set, cowman. Uh, oh, God, I don't have a set. Ugh. All right, make sure you save your set this time. Okay, save set right here. Okay, and then a links right here. 
Okay, guys, let's do it. Oh, wait, we got to do one uh, easy mode first. We got to do one easy mode, and then we got to do the... Because uh, there's an order for it, so... Come on in. Bring your new Toshiro's. I bet you uh, new Toshiro is actually pretty good on this uh, on this guild quest. Uh, Mr. Flame, is it worth doing two steps on, on Rukia or Quilhei? Uh, they're both good, so just pick whichever one you like better. Quilhei and Rukia are both, like, really top-tier characters. Uh, I, I, I don't think anybody will disagree with that. All right, we got Zoro, uh, Charaquito, Ladybug... Kang Bounce and Seren. All right, welcome, guys. Oh, we got new. We got two Toshiro's. Congratulations, guys. Two Toshiro's. Very nice. Very nice. Attack and focus. Uh, okay, cool. Well, let's do it. Oh, Eba, new Eba. Is that new Eba? Oh lord. <laughs> new Eba. Wheelhay is definitely better than uh, New Rukia. I know New Ru New uh, Parasol Rukia is like really good though. Yeah, but Quilhay is like really good in everything. Yeah, he, he really is. Quilhay is like awesome. But if you gave me a choice and said, "Kamen, you can only have one of these two characters," I would pick Rukia just because I like Ru Rukia better. <laughs> But that's not based on gameplay at all. You know what I mean? Oh my god, dude! Who was doing that DPS? Was that me? I think it was me. Uh. Oh, Rukia's strong attack 2 doesn't work in Guild Quest? Oh yeah, because it's like considered, um, it's considered a melee attack, right? Yeah, the um, Swimsuit Byakuya has the same problem. Actually, anybody that has like a boost or a, a ranged, any ranged character that has like a boost um, is screwed in Guild Quest. Okay. Because it doesn't count as a ranged attack. Alright, let's, uh, we, are we, are we, we're, did we have to join somebody? Yeah, let's join, uh, Kill, Kill wants us to play real bad for some reason. Is it, is it, is it Epic Raids? I don't think it's Epic Raids. Hold on, let's see what he's doing. <sighs> Guys, if you, if you put numbers in the chat, uh, say what it is, so, like, I know what to do. One, seven, two, five, six, six. Okay, we got it. Hey, what's up, Jay Trocious? What's up, Dan? Uh, Kami, mid month's not gonna be good. Last year it was Ill4, Tesla, and base, uh, a bird dude. Yeah, well, you never know. I might as well wait to see. Oh, wait, I got no, 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 wait, hold up. I gotta change to a uh, Kang dude. Hold up. Oh, I know why you wanted me to, uh, I know why you wanted to open a room. I see it already. I see what I see what it is. Oh, damn. Look, guys. Look, guys. Max Trans Go. With three star SP. Oh, you didn't. Dude, you gotta get to work, man. Like, what the hell, dude? Why you only got 15s? This is embarrassing. You don't deserve. You don't deserve 5 of 5 Kang Do. This is. This offends me. I am, like, offended by this. Whatever. Alright, Kang Back. Yeah. Kang Back. <laughs> Damn. He got two of five. Damn. And Shari Kuito. Damn, everybody got two of five, five of five, except for me? Are you serious? Oh, Lord. Why are, Why do the real fans of Kang Do always get the shaft? I don't understand. I don't understand. It's not... A, the life is not fair, man. Life is not fair. The real Kang Do fans get, like... One of five, and then like the fake can do can do fans get like five. Like what the hell, bro? Dude didn't even give his can do twenties. I mean, maybe he doesn't want to get accused of modding. That might be a legit reason. Because if you give can do twenties, you might get accused of modding. 
So maybe, maybe I guess maybe, maybe. Like I feel like I'm modding right now. I feel like I'm modding every time I play this character. It's because the DPS is like ridiculous. Like were there even, were there even any enemies there? Like I, I don't I don't know. I didn't see any. Don't forget those of us with zero or five Kang. You didn't get Kang do? Damn, dude. What are you gonna do, man? What the hell are you gonna do? I don't know what I would do if I didn't get Kang do, man. I, I really don't. I don't know what I would do. Probably quit the game. I'd probably be like making the quitting BBS video right now. What the hell? Is it lagging? Oh yeah, because of the special. Man, it's rough. Indivi oh yeah, you can still go in on the individuals, yeah, but I mean the problem is you gotta you gotta like you gotta wait like two weeks for the individual Kang Do banner. I mean, that's rough, dude. That's gonna be a rough two weeks. I could barely go five minutes without playing Kang Do. I could barely I could barely get through the day without playing Gang Kang Do, man. It's crazy. Yeah, only two steps for Rukia for now. I want to see what mid month is before I commit any more. All right, let's go back to um, very nice, uh, very nice um, uh, Kang Do Nami, even though it's not finished. But I trust that you're gonna finish it. Yeah. I mean, you're probably grinding the, the, the potions right now, like I bet. I mean, that's what I would be doing. All right, guys, come on in. Yeah, but uh, mid-month is not <coughs> always terrible because you remember uh, that one mid-month where we got Biakia and As Note. So mid-month is not always bad. I mean, last month it was bad. But the month before that, it was good. So, it's hit or miss. Alright, what's up, guys? Walmart PC. Who is this? <laughs> wait, did you give him... Uh... Oh, wait. Okay, you gave him 20s, but you didn't give him Transcendence? Maybe he forgot. Macharaquito cleared that banner. Macharaquito cleared the Kang Du banner. Uh, what are y'all talking about? You're not going down to zero for Kang Du? Yes, you are, dude. Yes, you are. Stop lying, dude. You know you're going down to zero for Kang Du. <laughs> Kang Du is literally the strongest character in this game. Like, they've done research on it. And it's like, his DPS is unparalleled. <laughs> Oh my god. Are we, are we modding? Oh my god. <laughs> I ain't selling out to China. Dude, Chinese, people in China are hype right now. People in China are eating good right now. Off the Kang Du banner. I'm telling you. I think I watched uh, Zhang Zhang's summoning video. He didn't get Kang Du. I couldn't believe it. It's like, damn, dude. He didn't really try that hard, though. He's probably waiting for the Kang Du individual to get five of five, you know? Which is a smart play. Uh, all right. Let's keep going, guys. Yeah, somebody was named Walmart PC. I don't know who that is. I don't know what that refers to, either. Like, if you got a Walmart PC, why would you, like, why would you, like, say, why would you, like, let everyone know about that? You know what I mean? Like, you probably want to, like, not tell everybody that, because... Nah, I don't think he's talking about my laptop. There's no way it could be that. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Gocha. Guys, maybe it's time to change our names back to the original. Oh, Rick, Rick's here. Rick wanted to flex his 505 Heba. 
Let's see. He 5 and 5 Eba, but he's not even done yet. He, he's not even done yet. I mean, it's still... First of all, it's... 5 and 5 new Eba is not a flex. First of all, okay? Second of all, he's not even finished yet. Third of all, you gave him stamina recovery. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, how did you do... How did you get that? Did you, like, actually summon that much for him? Or, um... Did you actually try to summon for 5 of 5 Eba, or was it just like a random like thing that happened? It had to just be like something that randomly happened. Like maybe he did like 5 steps and just randomly got 5 Ebas. Because there's no way that that uh, he purposely tried to get 5 of 5 Eba. No one was purposely trying to get 5 of 5 Eba. Well, maybe Old Man Zagetsu was. But he he just so he already has the worst account in BBS, so it doesn't even matter for him. He's giving old man Zangetsu a challenge. No, he's not, dude. I mean, old man Zangetsu like has like the worst account in BBS by like a mile. Like literally nobody, nobody's account is as bad as his. <laughs> like there's people that just started pit playing yesterday. That have better accounts than old man Zangetsu. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That dude's got like freaking 5 of 5 Ikaku. 5 of 5 tag team Shuhei. It's like terrible, dude. 5 of 5 blue Ishin. Oh, did you carry, Rick? I know, it, it seems like... It seems like a, that was a really slow run, to be honest with you. You went 30... Wait, hold on. Does that say 30? Guys, does that say 30? You went 30 steps on the Ikaku banner. Are you free? He's lying. He's lying, dude. He's trolling. Ain't nobody doing that. Nobody did that, man. Nobody did that. He probably got, like, got some copies off random Brave Souls tickets and stuff like that. There's no way somebody did 30 steps on that batter. You also got 5 of 5. <laughs> I don't understand what... No Ikakus? Oh, you, well, I guess you got lucky then. You, I mean, you still got, like, some terrible characters, but... Uh, at least you didn't get Ikaku, too, you know? All right, we got Kurosaki in here. Kurosaki got the new Tosh. Dayom. Alucard got the new Tosh. Congrats, guys. Oh, you got two of five new... Oh, yeah, that's right, but you didn't get Kang. Damn. At least you got Tosh, though. Damn, yeah, yo, the Omi got five of five Tosh. Holy shit. All right, let's go, guys. They'll send them... That, that Magoto, Magoto is like... That's a, dead, that's a dead meme, okay? We don't talk about that no more. I bet you five of five Tosh destroys Guild Quest. Yeah, I don't know why he did 30 steps on that banner. I, I, maybe he was like... Maybe he was like drunk when he did it and he didn't know what he was doing. Or maybe he like randomly lost his eyesight for a minute. Or maybe like somebody like stole his account and like messed with it. Because that's the only possible explanations. Like for going 30 steps on uh on uh, Ikaku on the Ikaku battle. Hey, what's up, Swotor? What's going on? By the way, guys, if the stream randomly crashes today and I get disconnected, um, I probably won't come back. Just to let you know, because we had a random crash yesterday when we were playing Persona 3. And it took me forever to get my PC back up and running. It was a blue screen of death. It was like a really bad crash. So, if that happens again tonight, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just telling you right now. I ain't dealing with it. Alright, well, let's go again. My PC runs Persona 3 fine. I don't know why that happened yesterday. 
blue screen of death too, man. You know, I, I, I looked it up yesterday, and it, it says that that sometimes happens when your uh, when your RAM is fried. So maybe my RAM is like started to go. Because I mean, the computer is not new. My computer is like like five years old. So maybe, and I leave it running 24-7, so maybe that's what happened. All right, let's go, boys. Well, I'll just, I'll just, I mean, if it keeps happening, then I'll know. But that's like the first time it ever happened. Are we going? Ken Quito, what the hell are you doing? All right, we're going to go without you because you're holding up the squad. All right? All right, let's go. Oh, never mind. I already... Oh, old boy. Did you make it? Old boy came... Oh, old boy got Parasol Rukia. Damn. Wait, hold on. I want to test play Parasol Rukia. Because I don't remember what her kit was. I don't think Persona 3 uh, requires that much uh, PC power. I'm pretty sure it's like... It's not like running PAL World. PAL World, I feel like, requires a lot of PC power. But uh, Persona doesn't seem like it does. PAL World's bad on my computer. Well, it's not bad. It's, it's only bad when other people join. But I feel like the developers haven't optimized that game either, you know? No, uh, uh, Kurosaki, I, I, um, I've done it before on this PC. I added RAM to it, so I know how to do it. I might have to replace the current RAM that's in there, but um, I'm going to let it go for a little longer, see if it keeps happening, you know what I mean? No need to, like, jump to conclusions. Uh, all right, let's go. No, I don't have to buy higher RAM. I just have to buy the same RAM that I had from before. I'm not going to try to get, like, the, the new RAM. I'll just get the old RAM that I had. Like, the same shit I had last time, I'll just buy a new copy of it. Actually, let me test play Parasol Rukia real quick. I forgot what she... Does she have a homing vortex? See, I'm scared to get a Kaku, too, man. What if I get a Kaku? Nah, 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 I can't risk it. I have Gin and Ikaku. I don't have uh, Parasol Rukia. It's a heal strong attack too? Okay. Is it a 960 at least? Hold on. Okay, so she's got freeze on everything. See that strong attack 2 is going to be useless in guild quest because it can strong attack 2s count as melee when they're uh when they're heals or boosts. So Oh, it is a 960. That is, that's a 960 heal strong attack too. That's actually pretty good. And plus she looks awesome. Look how, look how dope she looks, dude. I gotta say, guys, uh, not 90% of the... You hear the little clip-clop when she runs? I don't know if you can hear it. But it's like her, her wooden sandals when she runs. Damn. Damn, this character might be as good as Kang Du. Nah, I mean, no, she's pretty good, but she's not as good as Kang Du. They, all, they always uh, make Rukia look really good in this game, except for that one time. Except for Parasol. Uh, Chinese New Year Rukia. That one didn't come out so good. But uh, for the most part, most of the Rukias in this game look really good. Oh, she doesn't have hit underground enemies, though. Yeah, this character is pretty hype, not gonna lie. Yeah, um, the Lunar New Year's Rukia, I wasn't too excited about her. I didn't like her design that much. Mainly because she was wearing uh, granny panties. And it just looked kind of like weird. 
But the other rookie is this rookie is great. Mm. All right. All right. Well, I'll have to try to get her after I find out what mid month is. All right, guys. Let's do. Uh, let's do uh, one more epic raid, and then we'll switch it over to uh, it. I guess. Uh, Shanghai, you like her overly Chinese design, but I can see the Bloombergs, the Bloombergs being distasteful. The Bloombergs look horrible, dude. Those pants, I'm ta we're talking about the pants on uh, the, uh, new, the Lunar New Year, Rukia. It's, they just look bad, dude. I I'll pull up the, the picture, a picture of her. Uh, after this run, guys. All right, we got Muzan in here. Congrats on Tosh. Walmart PC. Congrats on Rukia. Uh, let's go. Lots of people say Parasol Rukia is the best uh, power unit at the moment. I mean, she's pretty good, from what I could tell. Does she have Frenzy plus two? Plus two Frenzy? She has to. Because I think Ikaku has friends with plus, plus two. I am. Um, this Ichigo still hits really hard. She has Rampage also? Oh, damn. And she has SP80? Does she have increased chance to proc? Does she have a higher chance to proc? Hey, what's up, Rudak? How you doing? Listen, I knew that you. I got. I tried to get the character. In, oh damn, she has a really good kid. Yep. She might be the strongest red character. Like I can't think of any red characters that are better than her. Let me look. Um. Power, is Parasol Rukia the best red character? SP character. Uh, she's definitely better than Iba. Definitely better than Mashiro. I don't know. I don't even remember Shunsui's moves. Oh, wait, but uh, Ichigo is still here, too, though. Thousand Year Blood War Ichigo is still around. I think my Yuri might be better than her, too. But that's about it. Nobody else, dude. I mean, Yama is still good. Yeah, I mean, Red is struggling, though, dude. Overall, dude. Red doesn't really have that many great characters. The Mayuri is really good. I don't know what you people are talking about. Y'all sleeping on that Mayuri. There's that one guild quest, he destroys it. All right, all right, guys. Anyway, uh, let us do. Let's switch over to some uh, potion runs. Okay, we'll do um, inheritance trial. Red. Um, I guess I'll use Nelio. Yeah, Nelio. Nah, 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 nah. No, Mayuri's OP. No, for real, all joking aside, Mayuri's pretty strong on, uh, on Guild Quest. Hey, what's up, Angela? You pulled Ruk Rukia and two of the Bald Man under seven steps. <laughs> and you got a few potion characters. Damn, you, got, you got lucky and unlucky at the same time. Because you did get Rukia, but unfortunately you also got a Kaku. So, I mean, I guess it's all right. All right, we got Muzan, C. Pandu, and uh, Lanybug. I mean, at least you got Rukia. At least you got Rukia. I'm sorry to hear that you got a Kaku though. That's rough. <laughs> Freaking Ikaku. How could they do two Akakus like so close to each other? Because they did, they did Parasol Ikaku, and then they did that one from last month. 
And it was all like pretty a pretty close time period. Like, this kid, does any does people at K Lab know what the hell they're doing? Why would you release two Ikakus? I think somebody at K Lab's trying to sabotage them. I don't know. You do a hype banner like Parasols. And then you put a Kaku in it. I mean, two out of three is not bad, though. I mean, you have Gein and Rukia. Gein's pretty hype, to be honest. Rukia is definitely hype. So I guess maybe it cancels out the Akaku. But, oh, damn it, what happened? I don't know. I'm gonna nuke this guys because this is this room sucks. See, that was a good call right there. What are you talking about? Ikaku is pretty popular. What? You people just make stuff up. You just like you people just like say anything. It's ridiculous. Ikaku is pretty popular. Where? He's not a pop guys. He's not a popular character, all right? Let's be real. Like Ichigo is a popular character, Byaki is a popular character, Aizen's a popular character. Ikaku is not a popular character. Y'all just making stuff up now, man. Yeah, that's why you people like annoy me sometimes Amen. because you just like say random stuff with like no evidence. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, what's up, King Charles? 15 steps. Oh, 15 steps to get anyone, and you got Kang Do with Bambi? Dude, it was worth it. It was worth it. 15 steps to get Kang Do. I, 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 I feel like that's pretty decent. And you got the old Bambi too, so that's pretty good. Congrats. Congrats. Like, I really don't think you people, like, know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hatsuki, you got Song Du and Toshiro in five steps. That's hype, dude. I got uh, Kang Du on uh, step two, but I kept going because I'm stupid. I wanted to get extra copies of him. That That's why I kept going. I was trying to get, like, multiple copies of Kang Doo so I could merge them. But, um, you know, I should have been satisfied with the one Kang Doo. All right, what's up, guys? Let's go. Oh, you're bringing Eburn? Oh, damn. <laughs> of course people are going to be hyped for the first seasonal Ikaki. Nobody was hyped for season. The only reason that banner was hype was because R Rukia was in it and Gein was in it. Okay, that's the only reason that banner was hype. It wasn't because of Ikaki. The only reason anybody even wanted Ikaki was because he had the uh, potion drop. That's the only reason he's like even somewhat like people care about him like at all if he didn't have potion drop nobody would care about that kind of thing. I will say this much about that character though his outfit does look pretty good though his like costume I do like the way the, co the costume looks but it would have looked better on like literally any other character like, if Byakia was wearing that outfit, oh my god, that would have been hype. Uh, stellar, stellar coding. Okay, we'll do a sponsor run next, okay? Sponsor run is next, guys. Uh, it's going to be Inheritance Trial, if you want to play, and you're in the sponsor squad. B 
Byakuya does have a lot of characters. But, I mean, it's like not any more than any other captain. Well, I mean, it is. I mean, certain captains don't have any versions. But, uh, like, he doesn't have more than Tosh. He doesn't have more than, like, uh, certain other captains. The captains that have the least amount of uh, variants in this game, I think, are Sajin, Shun Sui, and Jushiro. Yeah, those are the ones that really... Uh, Kenpachi, surprisingly, doesn't have that many versions either. Zoraki, he does not have that many uh, different variants in this game. Which is surprising to me, because he's a pretty hyped character. Uh, Ikaku is a mid-character in general. Yeah, I would agree. But you do like the seasonal outfit. I like the outfit... I just don't like him wearing the outfit. You know what I mean? Like, they gave Ikaku a dope-ass outfit. Which is kind of a waste, in my opinion. What they should have done, they should have made white day, uh, Parasol Kenpachi. Put, Ke put, put Kenpachi in the Ikaku outfit. He would have looked hype in that, dude. People would have gone crazy. Spirits are forever with you. Kenpachi is actually really good, like, to this day. White Day Kenny was horrible, but but that's, like, a really old character, so... That doesn't really count, you know what I mean? Like, look, guys, look... look hold up. Uh... Look at this, uh, look at this outfit that they put on, uh, Parasol Ikaku. Right here. Oh, we're about to do a sponsor run, so get your Discord ready if you want to join that one. Okay, guys, look at this outfit. This outfit's actually kind of hype with, with, like, the gold and the black and, like, the maroon. I like the colors. But just, like, imagine Zaraki in this outfit. That would have been a hype character, dude. Hold up, let's let's cover it. Let's cover his head up. Cause like, cause like, look. That, uh, just ignore the fact that it's a Kaku. And the outfit's actually pretty hype. <sighs> it's sad sometimes to see what could have been. You know what could have been. What are you gonna do though? Alright, anyway. Parasol Kang Do, Frog Do, yeah. That would have been better than freaking Ikaku, I'm telling you, man. I feel like I feel like Caleb doesn't know what they're doing. Okay, I'm gonna make a room for the uh, sponsors. Check the Discord for the number if you want to join it. The number should be here. Right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Type it. Uh, sponsor events. There we go. Check the Discord. I put the number in there. Frog Kang Do is like super hype, by the way. Frog Kang Do, kind of goatish. <laughs> Can someone please fix Frog Do's eyes? What's wrong with his eyes, man? What's wrong with Frog Do's eyes? That's the way he's he he's a Chinese frog. That's the way he looks. So you guys look. You guys look. Oh, we we got a full sponsor squad. What's I I don't see any problem with the, with his eyes. I think they look fine. I don't know. Y'all just hating. Y'all just mad for no reason. All right, we got the uh, Swotor, Stellar Code, and Kurosaki. What's up, guys? Let's do this. Let's go. Man, y'all, you guys are just full of hate today. I feel like. Are you sure they're not just, they're not extra Chinese? No, they're, they're, that's like, um, 
That's like normal Chinese. Listen, you, you, you are the one that are, you guys are the ones that are hating on the frog's eyes. Like that's the way he looks. Guys, in case you didn't know, Kang Du is, is Chinese. That's the way he looks. You all need to stop uh, body shaming him. Oh shit, I did not. They, he doesn't have cross eyes, dude. It's just because the hair covers like the one side of it, so it, maybe it looks that way, but it's... Y'all just looking to start trouble for no reason, then. Just the start and start and drama for no apparent reason. Soltar, are you using uh, you you're using that Stark? Hey, uh, what for? It just looks he just looks cross-eyed because the hair kind of makes it look that way. So the hair is covering up. Uh, did I not nuke the- Oh, I died. Oh, damn. I'm like ass right now. The problem is I got too used to playing Kang Du, so it's like now when I play normal characters, it's like I like I'm I'm like bad now. Playing Kang Du has kinda like made my skills like rusty. Because you know, you, because when you play Kang Du, you don't even really need to try at all. And then you go back to playing like normal characters, and it's like, oh my god, I forgot how to play. You know? Yep. See, look, y'all, like this whole this whole team is struggling because because no Kang do. <laughs> that Stark is not OP. Hold up, let me. Uh, actually, you know what? I kind of want to try that Stark because I forgot what he was like. I know he has that triangle, strong attack one, which is, uh, which is pretty, which is pretty terrible. All right, let, let me, uh, let me, let me give him a try. I forgot what he put, I forgot what his other strong attacks were. I think he has a lunging strong attack two. He just doesn't like a weak kick. That's the problem. All right, guys, everybody, everybody bring Stark. Oh, I can just change. He uses the same equipment, so. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, I gotta change that. To, uh, Grim Jow. Yeah, this one. Okay, we got, uh, Walmart PC, Canquito, and Stellar Cone. What's up, guys? I'm gonna. Oh, he's got his 5 of 5 Eba. He brought his 5 of 5 Eba. This is gonna be a terrible run. This is gonna be a really slow run, I'm telling you right now. Oh, there's no doubt. Nobody's questioning that Stark is cool. Like, everybody likes Stark, but they just gave him a bad kit. And I don't know why. Like, why do they, like. Why, why would they ruin, like, a good character by giving him a bad kit? Look at that! Look at that Shrug Attack 1! Look at this Shrug Attack 1. Did y'all see this? Actually, Shrug Attack 2 is pretty good. Shrug Attack 2 is not bad. His Mad Strings actually really good, too. He's got a full screen third. He's actually not as bad as I remember. It's just the strong attack one that, that ruined it. 
It really is. That's like the only thing that's really bad about it. Look at that five of five Evo dead. Oh wait, no, he's he's disconnected. Never mind. Five of five Evo. Oh shit, watch out. I think he has long stride too. It feels like he has long stride. Oh, maybe not. I think he's kind of, he's actually okay, except for strong attack one. I'm dead. Oh no, he got weakened. I survived somehow. Guys, why are we struggling right now? Ah, shit. Does he have, uh... Oh, shit. Does he have, like, passive weakening? Swotar says, Stark's more OP than both Blue Shuhei's combined. Well, that's not really saying that much, to be honest with you. You're right. But that's not, like... That's not, like, hard to do. Being better than Blue Shuhei is not, like, a flex. I think he has passive uh, weakness procs. Somebody look at... Oh, damn it, I died. Oh, shit, what the... I can't move. What the hell is going on? I can't move. What the hell was that, dude? Oh, we got two disconnects. God, I gotta do the rest of this by myself? With power, with freaking Stark? Oh god, 24 hour run. Oh god, 24 hour run coming. Okay, I got one. Okay, we survived. Uh, he has 40% damage to weaken enemies. Havoc, Devastation, and he procs a lot. Debil debilitator plus 5, so his ailments last longer. I mean, that's not really that great, to be honest with you. That kit. He has Havoc? I can't tell. I'd hate to see what he'd look like if he didn't have Havoc. Holy crap, dude. He does proc a lot. He definitely does proc a lot. Yeah, I'm nuking this, you nuke the next one. Okay, that's one down. This legit feels like a 2015 run. <laughs> it really does. Like when when bosses were actually kinda kinda tough to defeat. And, uh, remembering his old skills from 2015. Did I carry? Oh, it's not. It's not over yet. There we go. Holy crap! That was that was a tough run, dude. Holy shit! All right, so here's the conclusion, guys. If you want to remember what the game was like in 2015, play Red Stark. <laughs> That'll give you an idea of what it used to be like. Yeah, we had to bring a boss killer back in the day, or a healer. And then if you died, it cost two orbs to revive. It was rough back in the day, man. It's not like today where you do one strong attack with Kang Du and the boss is gone, you know? Back in the day, like, uh, boss fights were like... A real like uh, challenge. Yeah, and no one wanted to revive because it cost spirit orbs to revive, dude. 
You had to pay two orbs every time you died. Could you imagine if it was like that today? Y'all would be broke. Y'all would be broke. And actually, to be honest with you, if it was like that today, I bet you my uh, healing build would be meta. You know, my healing, uh, my healing Biakia build? That would actually be useful back in the day. All right, anyway. I feel like playing Kang Du. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, should we do more IT? I'm kind of tired of doing IT. You know what? Let's do a regular droplet zone. I'll play a character I never played before, but still has potions. I have never played this Kensei. And apparently he has potion drop. Right? Oh, he does. Yeah, right there. Technique potions. Okay. I just want to try him. I've never used him. So, uh, not, hell no, I'm not giving him link slots. Are you crazy? I ain't wasted materials on freaking Kensei. Are you crazy? Uh... I'll give him the uh, the potion link, though. So we get 10 potions. Do I have it? I do. Oh, it's Eber. Never mind. I forgot it was Eber. All right, guys. We're just going to do a normal uh, normal inheritance zone for, for the lulls. You guys can bring whatever you want. I don't care. I just want to try him because I never tried him before. I mean, he looks dope. I, I'm not going to lie. He looks cool. It's just a shame that he's like, he's weak as hell. You know? All right. What's up, guys? Let's go. Y'all, y'all rocking Eburn Licks? You weren't so strong, you forgot he was a potion link. It's true. It's true. Oh, he's got long shot, I think. No, does he? Is that long shot? Oh, God, that strong attack one is like 2015. Oh, God, that strong attack two is like 2015 also. What is that strong attack one? It's like so stumpy. Oh, my. <laughs> Guys, I'm not reviving. This is not worth it. Y'all just do the stage without me. I'll revive. Fine. This character is not good, though. Look how skinny that strong attack, too, is. That beam is, like, super skinny. Oh, my... That's, dude, is this a 2015 character? Like, seriously. I, I, that's a serious question. He has no range on anything. I mean, I guess he's built for regular IZ, though, so that, that kind of makes sense. Damn, they did this character dirty. This character might be worse than Blue Shuhei. Does he have status immunity, at least? Does he have anything good? Does he have any good abilities? No, Byakuya's beam is wider than that, dude. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. That chicken uh, inner tube looks like that pal from uh, Pal World, the chicken pal. You guys know what I'm talking about? On, on uh, Riruka special. Are you guys trying to tell me that he's good because he has log shot? Is that what you're trying to say? This character's bad, guys. Like, let, let's be real. I mean, I guess... I mean, because he's made for regularized Z, so I guess it's fine. He's not made to do harder content. So I guess, like, he... I just got one shot right there for no reason. Oh, I got, I got revived. Thank God, somebody had the Roka special. Let me do his move. Where's the enemy? Oh, never mind. It's over. Oh, 
can't say is actually de- the, the character is not good. I mean, he's good for doing regular IZ, maybe farming the point event, but like anything more difficult than that, you don't want to use that Kensei. Did you see his kit? He, his like strong attack one goes literally nowhere. His strong attack two is like as skinny as like, it's like super skinny. And his strong attack three is like terrible. It's not full screen and it's like centered around his body. It's like, that's like horrible, dude. Yeah, maybe he might be okay in ER because that strong attack three is like a good like strong attack to do when you're right next to the boss. But uh, he's not really that good, guys. Come on. He's like at that level of uh, Blue Shuhei. Like he's at the level of like Red Stark, Blue Shuhei, like that that level. Like good for farming, like the coin trial. Maybe Path of Friendship. Maybe Droplet Zone. So, I mean, yeah, he's not really... He's, yeah, he's, not, he's not a good character. I'm sorry. Alright, let's, um, let's do some random... Speaking of Path of Friendship. I feel like playing uh, Bambietta right now, so... We're gonna do Path of Friendship. <sighs> I haven't played Bambietta in a long time, I feel like. kind of miss playing her. Put Kang Du on Bambi. Now, oh, yeah, you can't though, because uh, different colors. I wouldn't do that anyway, even if they were the same colors. The problem with Bambi, she doesn't have an uh, increased chance to proc. Oh yeah, no, she. Uh, but it's only against blue enemies. She does have increased status only chance against blue enemies. Yeah, well, I guess that's fine. Yeah. All right, we got Walmart PC again, Swotor Gaming, and Ladybug. All right, Ladybug is using Yami. Okay, I guess whatever. Bambi, uh, the old Bambi should be getting resurrected pretty soon, by the way, guys. The blue one. And I hope that she gets uh, increased chance to proc. I know she's not going to get guard break. Because nobody ever gets guard break, but that's fine. If they resurrect Bambi, I want her to have, uh, for her soul trait, I think I would want uh, 12 recharge, uh, 16 strong attack damage, obviously. And then for her abilities, I want increased chance to proc and maybe fire resistance. Because I feel like she should be immune to, uh, immune to fire. Now, we can't get too greedy. You can't get too greedy. You can't, like, ask for, like, all this stuff. You just gotta ask for, like, reasonable things when you're talking about resurrection. I would like damage to burning enemies as well. Uh, I don't think she would get that and increased chance to proc. So let's just be reasonable. We'll go for fire resistance, increased chance to proc, and uh, strong attack damage on the soul tree. Maybe, maybe they could give her SP uh, 50. SP 50. Because they've done that before. On resurrection characters. I think Toshiro. That's in your Blood War Toshiro got SP 50. So maybe they would give that to old Bambietta. The Bambietta, uh, even the, the blue Bambietta still has a good kit. Her kit is still decent. It's just like, uh, it's, it's like the DPS just isn't there like it used to be. Because characters have gotten like, the power creep has gotten, uh, like, well, it hasn't been crazy. To be honest, the power creep hasn't been bad the last few years. It hasn't been like too crazy. Because like, there's still some really old characters that are still decent. So I think Caleb has done a good job with that. Managing power creep. There's definitely still power creep, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, all right, guys. Uh, let's do another Path of Friendship, but I, this time I want to play... 
I want to play Biakia. Which Biakia though? Oh my god, they're they're all so good. I guess this one. We'll play the new one. All right, guys, come on in. <sighs> Candace, yeah, maybe Candace would be good with an increased chance to proc as well. Increased chance to proc is a really good ability. I think people sleep on it. Especially if you combine it with um, increased damage to, so like, burning enemies. Or if you combine it with, like, um, SP-80. It's really good. Oh, God. Uh, you guys, I, I haven't been keeping track of who's joining. So, um, my bad. I didn't think there would be enough people here that I would have to keep track of it, to be honest with you. But if you've joined a lot of rooms already, let some other people play, please. Yeah. Let the, let because the, there's people trying to play that can't play. Because you all be in a, hogging all the rooms. You know who you are too. I know you know who's do, you know who, who you are that's doing it. See, I don't know. This guys, this Biakia is like actually really good. I don't know why people are like talking shit on him. He's like really freaking good. Jacob, you've been trying to get in. All right. Well, all right. How about this? If you've already played tonight, you can't play for a few runs. Now, trust me, I I remember who's played tonight. So if I see, if you've played already tonight. Just skip a few runs. Let some other people play. Y'all being real selfish. Real selfish. Hold up, let me do a real special after this. That's not gonna clear the room, so it'll be fine. Here we go. The real Senbon Zakura. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. This character is like really good. Booster, Frenzy plus two. Damn. Asnote was underwhelming. Asnote's not bad. He's okay. He's like a he's like a an old school shield character. You know, he's got that same kit that old shield characters used to have. Like the beam, strong attack one, and then the vortex thing that shoots out for strong attack two. All right, now what were we talking about? Okay, we're gonna do another path of friendship, but this time new people are gonna join. Who should I play for this run? You know, what? I, I kind of want to play Biakia for a few runs. I'm playing Biakia. Like, why did not? I feel like not enough people use this Biakia. Well, it's probably because they don't want to get accused of modding. That's probably what it is. Because when you play this Biakia, you do like so much DPS that you might get accused of modding. So I guess I understand. All right, Walmart PC, you've already played many runs, so I'm kicking you out. Uh, let me just put on level cap. I'm kicking you out of this run because you've been in many runs. You guys can come back after a few runs. Uh, Nox is here. Welcome, Nox. You're using Neliel? Okay. I used to love this Neliel, by the way. Oh, yeah, dude. Parasol Neliel and Parasol Rukia next to each other. Look how hyped that is. They used to make really good Parasol characters. I don't know what happened. Then they started making people like Parasol Ikaku. Is this the old one? This is the old one. Oh, five of five, though. All right, cool, cool. All right, let's go, guys. Ugh. Don't worry, Jacob. You'll get in. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I have this new rule where you can't join if you've already joined tonight. So we'll do that again for the next run. So everybody that wants to play gets at least one chance. And then next, we, uh, next live stream, I'll make sure to write people's names down. So, uh, everybody can play that wants to play.
This Biaki is good for a lot. He's good in Guild Quest, yeah, as a booster, but he's like good in like a lot of stuff. Like a, a booster character is always going to be like relevant. To be to be honest with you. Especially one that hits with Frenzy plus two. Yeah, I, I just forgot to write people's names down today. Yeah. Well, I didn't think there would be a big turnout today, to be honest with you. Because um, nothing's really going on in the game right now. Oh, what if it's we uh, Neanzal for mid-month, guys? That special just reminded me that we might be getting Neanzal for mid-month. You guys remember who Neanzal is? Who? The guy, the, he, the elite Sternritter. The one that has two tongues. He fought, uh, he dueled uh, Senju Maru. The guy who almost defeated Senju Maru. Y'all remember him. He might be, uh, he might be uh, mid-month. No, actually, I've said this before. I think, I think he'll be with um, the Owetsu remake and the the Karinji remake. Because remember, they still got to finish the Squad Zero remakes, right? So they'll probably put Neanzal with the other two uh, Zero Squad people that they haven't done yet. All right, guys, let's do uh, the last Path of Friendship. Uh. No, uh, no repeat players in this room, please. No repeat players. <laughs> yeah. What if the banner is, um, Tanjiro and then Kazu Kazuo and Kazuhiro? <laughs> oh my god, that would be crazy. Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh my god, people would be, everybody would be like, who the hell are these people? Okay, I'm playing Roka. I, I decided to play Roka. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna play original manga Biakia. It's been a while. All right, good. We got all new people. Look at this. All right, we got Lockoff, Nightwing, and Abdullah. Look at Lockoff and this pay to win shit. That's pretty hype, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty hype. That's kind of OP, actually. Damn. Look, guys, look. Five, another 5 of 5 Kang Do. That's the second 5 of 5 Kang Do I've seen in this stream. We had Nami had one and Lockoff has one. Hey, Ryoko, uh, $2. Thank you, man. Appreciate the donation. Part of the Lurk Squad. Thank you for watching. Oh, Jacob, you're a Nightwing. Okay. Yeah, Lockoff, uh, I think he's, he wails like, on a regular basis. We all know this. But I mean, Kang Du is definitely worth wailing for. Let's be real. Like, if you're gonna wail for a character, Kang Du is like not a bad choice. This Biaki's kit is still like okay, even though he came out in like 2015. Like that Strong Attack One has big range. Like that beam. This beam is really good. That's a strong attack one. His kit is actually surprisingly similar to the new manga Byakuya. Believe it or not, guys. Like, the only real different difference is the strong attack two. Oh, there's Retsu. Wailing for the Chinese views. <laughs> I would have got so many Chinese views if I would have gotten paid to win on the Kang Du banner. Oh my god. Actually, hold on. I, I want to compare something right here. I want to compare, if we could take a break real quick, guys. I want to compare the old Byakuya Strong Attack 1 with the new Byakuya Strong Attack 1 and see what the range is. So let's switch to the browser real quick. Here it is. Yeah, okay. There we go. 
Right, so if we could just, like, go to BBS Simulator for a second. BBS Simulator, uh, BBS Simulator. Okay, so let me see something here. Biakia. Alright, so we'll pull up a tab for the new one and for the old one. Alright, so that'll be the link for him. Pull up this one. Because the kits, like, now that I think about it, they're actually pretty similar. Alright, so this is the new Biakia. And this is his stats for his strong attack 1. And this is the old Biakia. This is his strong attack 1. Okay, so the new Biakia has a melee collision, belt shape, beam type, strong attack 1, with 725, length 2500. The old Biakia has a ranged collision belt, beam type, uh, with 870, length 3000. It's like the same exact range, isn't it? Oh my god, the, the old Biakia actually has a bigger beam. <laughs> The original Biakia actually has a bigger beam than the new Biakia. But, I mean, you gotta remember that the new Biakia's beam hits a lot harder. And besides, like, that's not, that's not like a, you wouldn't even notice that difference. Like, the length is 3,000 versus uh, 2,500. That's like, you wouldn't even notice that. And the width is 725 versus uh, 870. That's like not noticeable. Wow, that's crazy, though. That's crazy, though. And his... Uh, okay, so Nubiakia has a full-screen strong attack 3. Radius 1,000. Old Biakia has a full-screen strong attack 3. Radius 1,200. Well, I mean, that, obviously, this is just... Basically, old Biakia is, like, the same kid as new Biakia, except with Havoc. Right? He has Havoc. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? And obviously, their strong attack twos are like totally different, so that doesn't count. But um, I th their strong attack one and three is exactly the same, except for Havoc. All right. Curious. That, that's interesting. That's interesting, guys. All right. Yeah, and I started neck bearding. I started neck bearding lost viewers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Why? Oh, that's right, yeah. You gotta remember that the um, new Biakia has Frenzy Plus 2 as well. But I'm just talking about the mechanics. The mechanics are very similar. Alright, let me... I'm gonna play new Biakia again. Alright, guys. People that have not played... Only... Hey, Void Hashira. $25? Void Hashira, thank you, man. Another another lurker, just like out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, like, putting food on Cowman's table. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double like it. I'll like it with my little liking icon, and then I'll like it with the, uh, the little thumbs up. Thank you for the $25. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, we're going to be eating good tonight, boys. <laughs> Amy, why, why are you playing? You can play any... You don't have to play Ikaku. This is, we don't need potion characters for this. So if you want to switch, it's like all good. Amy probably thinks this is like a potion run. So that's why... All right, whatever, dude. All right. Dororo. Okay, cool. Lisa. Representing Lisa. <sighs> Nobody plays Ikaku because they like the character. They only play Ikaku because he's a potion character, okay? We all know that this is the reason. The only reason people use Ikaku is because he's got the super potion link. Uh, super potion increase. Alright, th th stop trying to make it sound like people play him because, like, they like the character. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. 
Uh, what are the top five planes on Br which Brave Solo? Uh, so I don't. I, I think I think like the autocorrect made you say something different. Top five planes. Top five characters. You you asking about? I'm not a huge fan of the man, but he looks good there. His outfit looks good. Okay, fine. I said I already said his outfit looks good. That, that that's not what I'm criticizing. I'm criticizing why he was in that banner with Gin and Rukia. <laughs> the Airbus A3. The Boeing 70, 747 is kind of a classic too. Top five planes, guys. Top five planes. Whatever, man. Listen, that Akai, that, that, dude. Byakuya has plenty of drip. Okay, he doesn't need to wear fancy clothes. He's got drip just like naturally. Talking about Guild Quest? Uh, you talking about what characters to use on Guild Quest? Well, I don't know what the top five are, but what I'm using this week is uh, right now. Who I'm using for Guild Quest is uh, excuse me. Uh, who am I using? Can't even remember. I am using. Oh my god, what's with the loading time? Uh, I'm using this team right here. The new Okiora. The White uh, Spirit Society Okiora. And the uh, Manga Aizen remake. And they're doing pretty good. It's a pretty good team. Also, we got a new member this week, guys. Uh, Drago TV bailed on Squad 6 Thick. I think Squad 6 Thick, Squad 6 Thick needs a new member now because Drago TV freaking bailed. I think, I'm pretty sure he got permission, but look at this. This dude walked into the guild and got second place, like, immediately. The rest of you people should be ashamed of yourselves. The rest of you, the rest of my guild, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. How are you going to get, how are you going to let some rando walk in here and embarrass you like this? The only person that should not be ashamed of themselves is uh, Shaw Gleezy, Okay. Everybody else should be ashamed. Especially Mugetsu. What the hell kind of score is this? What the hell kind of score? And he's representing Ikaku in his, his profile picture? <laughs> what is going on, dude? What What is this? Why is he doing this? Oh, for Guild Quest. Oh, yeah, for Guild Quest. Yeah, I guess he's from Guild Quest. I, I, true. Whatever. But he doesn't have to be in your flex team. He doesn't have to be in your flex team. Sparks, always wait until the last minute. Freaking guy. Anyway, whatever. Welcome to Drago, by the way. Oh, by the way, if you squad six thick people need another replacement, let me know. I'll get you somebody. Not so. He won't be. He won't be as good as Drago. I'll tell you that much. But I can get you a competent player. Oh, I'm ninth, but I haven't finished doing it yet, okay? I'm going to do more runs off camera. What is my ranking in the world? Of, uh, in the world? Our guild ranking or my private ranking? I don't... I don't. Our guild ranking... Uh, we're like in A rank. I don't know what they are. But the week's not over yet. Usually we're around... We're in the top 50, usually every week. Sometimes we're in the top, like, 20 on certain weeks. And we did make S rank one time. Um, the overall standings, the overall standings were second. But this is, this is just because like, we never changed members, you know? You know what I mean? And my personal, personal guild quest, I'm pretty, I'm probably pretty low. I'm 312 in the world. Spark Sparks is 300. 
Who's our highest? Hold up, let me see. Do we have anybody in the top 100? I bet you Shaw Gleezy and some of them dudes are in the top 100. ES Death should be on here. I don't know if they still try like that, though. Who are these people? I don't know any of these people. Who? Oh, I thought that said Old Man Zagets here. <laughs> we know that he's not in the top 100. Wait, is that him? Wait, hold on. That's not him. He's representing Jackie. It might be him. Oh, it's definitely not him. Yeah, it's definitely not him. This person is representing Jackie. What the hell? Have you ever seen... <laughs> Have you ever seen anybody represent Jackie? I've never seen something like this before. That's crazy. Freaking randos, man. And he's got Halibel. He does like his, his chocolate cake. He does like his chocolate cake, dude. He's got, he, he got, he got Halibel and Jackie on there. Damn. Oh, Tukey's in the top 20. Damn, Tukey's like kind of a neck beard also, man. Holy shit. Hold on, let me see something. What's he, re he's representing Kisuke, I guarantee it. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's got the manga Kisuke. Three manga Kisukes. Wait, that's the only, there's only been one manga Kisuke ever, I think, right? So he's got the five star, the six star, and the six star res resurrected, representing. And the six star one is up uh, five. The resurrected one is five of five. That's kind of badass, actually. That is like not a fake Kisuke fan. And look, his top five is all Kisuke also. Well, except for Owetsu. Even his links are all Kisuke's. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Hold on, let me see. Let's see. How many days has he been playing? Oh, he's been playing kind of a lot. By the way, guys, I recently hit 2,900 login days. I got 100 orbs, orbs for hitting 2,900 login days. 2,900 login days. I should do that. I should do that for Maga Biaki. I could do it. Uh, no, I couldn't. I, I, I need to get one more copy. Because I do have a, a five star and I have a uh, resurrected six star, so I'd have to get another copy. Um, let's see, what's the highest ranking? What's my highest ranking guild member in the world? This is uh, I've never looked at this before, to be honest with you. I've never looked at this. Oh, Scar is in here. Scar is a regular. He shows up here sometimes. Where was he? I lost him. I don't know. None of you people are in here. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> None of you people. Oh, wait. Is that League on? Is it, no, that's not our League on, is it? No. Can't be. Nobody that watches my stream is in the top 100. That's embarrassing. Hold up. I'm still looking. Oh, Deku. I know Deku. Well, I kind of. I, like, I, when I say I know him. Like, I've seen him in my live stream before. Oh my god, I'm gonna go through the top. I don't know a single top 100 Guild Quest player. <laughs> oh damn, Kurosaki came through! Yo, Kurosaki came through, dude. Oh, thank god. At least I know one person in the top 100. Toki's not a good player. Well, he's ranked in the top 20 of Guild Quest. Thank God, at least one person. How can Kurosaki be in the top 20, but like ES Death and like Shaq Glizia are not in the top 20? Because uh, Shaq Glizia and ES Death are all, always like one and two. Clinton's usually up there too. And, and Pringle. I'm surprised none of these guys are in the top 20. <laughs> Look at 20T, dude. 20T, shit. <laughs> 20T freaking changed his name to Kang 20T. He knows who the goat is. Yeah, I guess I guess you are. It just seems like they they're like number one a lot. Like also, so I'm just surprised that they're not in the top 100. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's what it is. It's usually you, Shaw, and he has death top three, and then it's usually Sti Ryan at the bottom, 
SCI ride and Dave Rod at the bottom. Oh lord. These guys are so it, the guild's pretty consistent. I'm usually like in the middle. Like in a, like 9, 10, 11. Except there's like a certain week where I'm terrible. Where I can't clear anything. I forget what week that was. It's the week where you need like Macy. I can't I, and I can't clear that week. I am not dead. I'm dead, dead last one one week out of all the weeks. And I'm not even dead last. I'm like 19 or 18. Right, anyway, enough talking about my guild. <laughs> SC, I've been keeping us out of S rank for like literally five years. <laughs> I'm joking. If he's watching, I'm joking, SC, Ryan. Kind of. A little bit. If you get on it, if you, like, yell at him, he'll get good scores. But that's the problem. You gotta, like, yell at him for him to get good scores. Alright, anyway, guys. Uh, I think we're gonna be done for today. There's nothing else going on, man. Alright. We are done for today, guys. Oh, we forgot to do Arena again. Guys, we forgot Arena. Okay, no, we gotta do one Arena match. Alright, let's do one Arena match. I always forget to set aside some time for Arena. Uh, I'm bringing Ken... Oh! Hold up. Um, Eburn's almost rank 5, but I want to play Kang Du. We can do Eburn next time. I'm going to play Kang Du. I still got to make make sure I get uh, Eburn up to rank 5. But, uh, th that can wait. That can wait. I'm, th I'm too hyped to play Kang Du right now. You know, one of the most unusual things about Kang Du is the fact that he gets long stride when he procs Gage. That's, like, kind of weird. Because, like, sometimes I forget he he has that, and it's, like, I forget to take advantage of it. Oh, here, Kang Du. Are y'all bringing Kang Du? Oh, y'all are bringing Kang Du. Okay, I'll give him level 10 for now. What does he get at the... At, at le, uh, he, I'll give him level 5 for now. At level 10, he gets poise. At level 10, he gets poise? Dude, is this character just, like, good at everything? This character is literally, like, good at everything. Okay, uh... Let me give him a link. We'll give him, uh... Where are you? Yeah, where are you? Okay, guys, let's do it. Kang Squad, stand up! Oh, my God! It's C Pandu, Kang Gojo, and B Kang Boy. Yo, Kang Squad, stand up. For real. Uh, what do you say, Jimmy? There's a glitch. If you summon after doing Arena, you get Parasol Rukia. <laughs> oh, it's, it, that, glitch is, that glitch is happening again? Oh my god. Oh my god, I better summon right away. Yo, we're running the Super Chinese team. This team is like extra Chinese. <laughs> oh, we're gonna kill these people. Are they are they are they serious? They should just disconnect right now. If I saw what no guys spread out. Don't go to the same area. Even though we're all playing Kang Du, we still gotta spread out. This is gonna be a slaughter, I'm telling you right now. It's almost unfair. Oh, they got that paralysis proc. Somebody on their team's got that random paralysis shit. Oh, God, that's going to be an issue. Hopefully it's not, though. We got uh, maybe multi... You walk stance, no chance against it. I'm nuking. Dunk. Okay, yeah, a read mission complete. Dunk. Oh, we're starting to pull away, too. They're probably going to accuse... We're probably going to get reported for modding. Guys, so just be ready for it. They're going to accuse us of modding. I'm, pa I'm paralyzed again. Oh, God, that random paralysis proc is, is brutal, dude. What the hell? That didn't, that didn't kill him? It didn't register that hit. Oh, 
Where's the enemy? Oh, here he is, right here. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh. Guys, this is too close for comfort. Can we like do something about this? I swear to God, if we lose with three Kang Doos, we should all just in uninstall the game. We cannot lose with three Kang Doos. Spread, spread out. Okay, uh, hold up, hold up. Don't steal again. Hold the steal for now. What? I'm paralyzed again. Oh God, save me. Hold up, hold them off. Hold them off, kill something. Do not let them steal that. Okay, we'll, uh, uh, we should be okay. No! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my! Oh my God, guys, guys, that was too close. That, that was too close. The problem was they had somebody that uh, could proc, who had passive procs. That's like Kang Du's weakness. His only weakness. Yeah, see, Panda, you didn't get any power ups. I don't, I got plus five. Ken, Ken Goat got like plus three. I mean, we didn't even have that much power-ups overall, to be honest with you. All right, we won, but it was close. It, that was too close, guys. Nice. Who, oh, because Yuwak does that passive proc, doesn't he? Yuwak does the proc, right? Oh, wait, or is it Ichigo who does it? Actually, this team's pretty strong. Not gonna lie, like Yuwak and Ichigo. That's actually that's actually a pretty strong opponent. Like to be honest with you, and they're both rank three. We're all rank two, and we we're, we're, we were all rank one. So yeah, I mean that's that's fair. Yeah. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Kang do represent. Um, let me just uh, put another link on him. We're not playing again. I'm done. We're done for today, guys. I don't have any more finished. Oh yeah, I guess I. I have no blue links. All right. No, we're not doing another one. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm not I don't want. I don't want to do another one. We're, I'm tired. I'm too stressed out. Like, we barely won that last one, so I'm like nervous about it. Yeah, we are gonna play Persona 3 again on my second channel. If anybody wants to uh, watch that, the link is in the description. Probably do that tomorrow. So, um, that is the plan. And then BBS will be like the day after that, as usual. We usually alternate days BBS one day and then mini channel this other day, so that's how it works. But um, we are done for now, guys. Thank you for thank you for hanging out and watching. Appreciate the uh, the people who donated. Thank you guys for the for, for the loot. Now I don't have to starve this week. He stay hungry. He stay hungry. Uh, who was that? Uh, George, thank you for the donation. I don't know if I shouted you out earlier, George. My bad. Uh, Ryoko, two dollars. Thank you. And Void, appreciate you guys. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back on BBS in like two days. So don't worry about it. Actually, what is the uh, what are the colors on the next day? Probably be on this day. Yeah. So the next time we stream will be on triple color day, so we can play Kang Du and uh, and um, New Biakia and all the hype characters. All right. All right, guys. Have a great night, everybody. We might do more Rukia summons like in the future, but I want to see what the uh, mid month is before I do that. So that's why we're not going all in right now. We got to see what mid month is first. All right. All right, guys. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you um, day after tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Peace out. See you all next time. Oh, come through at Persona 3 tomorrow if you want. Link in the description.